Hey, I'm Vicky and today I'm going to be reviewing my brand new Shark Vacuum Cleaner. This is a Shark upright vacuum with anti-hair wrap and powered lift away. Quite a mouthful. Um, I've gone from a Dyson DC40 to this. The Dyson DC40 is actually now discontinued. Had that for about seven or eight years. Um, I would say the last year or so it has not worked as well as I would expect it to, which is why I've upgraded. Um, I read some really, really good things about shark vacuums, so I thought I would give it a go, switch over from the Dyson brand. So today I'm just gonna let you know what I think. So first of all, the setup of the actual shark vacuum cleanup was super duper quick. It took less than five minutes from taking out the box, getting it all assembled together. There were occasions where I was struggling to slot certain things into the right place. I think that's just a matter of making sure that you're really looking at the images in the instructions um, and just going over it again. Um, as with anything new, this takes a little bit of getting used to, you know, how things lift away, how they click back into place. But um, once you do have the knack of it, it is much easier. And um, obviously as time goes on, this is gonna get easier for me. I've had it about a month now. Um, and I would say it hasn't taken me too long to get to grips with it. I think as with any vacuum cleaner, you, you, you know the basics. You plug it in, you switch it on, you recline it, you push it around the room. So this basically is like that. This just has a few more features um, in terms of lifting away so that it becomes a bit more handheld and a bit more portable for certain um, bits of vacuuming. More on that in a minute. Um, and obviously getting used to the different ways that vacuums recline. But on the whole, I did find this quite intuitive to use. I had to check the manual a couple of times. On the whole, I, I could figure it out pretty well. And a month in, I think I've pretty much got to grips with it. So the key features of this Shark vacuum cleaner are, uh, it has an eight meter cord, which is really good. So I live in a four bed house here and I'm able to plug the vacuum in at the top of my stairs in the hallway and get into every single bedroom, all of the little corners there. So that's great. And similar story downstairs, I plug it in in a plug socket in the middle of the house, which is in our hallway. Now I go around, I can do the rugs, I can do the sofas, I can do the hard floors. So the cable is perfect, that's nice and long, that's what you want it to be. Um, one interesting feature of this vacuum, which I've never had with a vacuum before, is it has headlights. <laughs> um, and when I first saw it, I was like, oh, I'd, like I'm not, I'm not sure about that. Um, um, for me personally, the jury's still out on whether headlights are actually needed <laughs> on a vacuum cleaner. Um, and maybe it's to make it more fun if you want to like get your kids involved. You know, they feel like they're driving a car because it's got headlights. Um, according to Shark, it illuminates the dust, um, so makes it easier to see what you're doing. Um, I, I, as I said, the jury's still out on that. I'm not sure it's an entirely necessary feature, so it's not a selling point for me. I wouldn't have said it's helped me with the cleaning, but hey, you know what? It, it's an interesting feature, and maybe at some point in the future, a particularly um, sort of hidden away bit of dust in a corner will be revealed by the headlights. Um, on the vacuum cleaner and I will realise that this is actually an essential feature that your vacuum needs to have. Okay, so some other key features. It has a self-cleaning brush roll, according to the description. So I've had vacuums in the past that have said, hey, this is anti-hair wrap, and um, my hair, um, I shed like crazy, my hair, and my girls do as well. Uh, and, I've, and we've had pets before in the past too, cats. So I've always found that, yep, hair does get wrapped around. And so far, so I've had this for a month, there is no hair wrapped around um, the bar, the brush roll. So I'm gonna take that as a good sign. You know, maybe ask me in six months to a year and we'll see if that's carried on. But so far I would say, yep, anti-hair wrap is working. The vacuum cleaner also comes with three floor settings. So you've got hard floor, uh, low pile carpet and a thicker carpet as well. So this is good for me because I've got a combination in the house of rugs, carpet and hard flooring, so laminate and real wood as well. And I've used this absolutely fine on all those different types of flooring. So the feature that really sold this vacuum cleaner to me in, in the end was the lift away, the powered lift away option that you've got. So you can lift away, I'm just gonna do it now just to show you. I can. You can lift away this part 
probably should have undone the cable first, but um, you get the idea. You can lift away this part of the vacuum and then you can lift away the actual um, hose area and you can have either the um, longer wand or the shorter one. So I use the shorter one to do the stairs. The longer one you can use if you say want to like vacuum up in the corners of your room, get cobwebs and that kind of thing. You can add the two different attachments to that then. So the two attachments you've got here, you've got your brush and you've got your kind of awkward corners. Your awkward corner. I'm sure it's not called that, this particular attachment, but I call it the awkward corners attachment. Um, maybe like the crevice attachment, I don't know. But this is what I use to get down the corners of our sofa and in the corners of the rooms in places where dust has got where um, you can't quite get with the vacuum cleaner in full mode. And then the brush, that's what I use um, on the stairs. And I may also use this on the couch cushions as well, just to pull any dust out of that. Um, and if I'm vacuuming the mattresses, which I try to do once every six months or so, I'd, I'd, I'd use a combination of the two probably. This to get into the corners around the mattress and this to do the top of the mattress. So this is what really sold it to me because I was finding the Dyson DC40 really difficult on the stairs because it doesn't have a lift away. So I was having to carry the whole unit up the stairs. Now the Dyson vacuum cleaner was very light, so it wasn't really that hard for me to lift it up and down the stairs, but I didn't find it easy with the long hose trying to vacuum the stairs. I was constantly sort of trying to maneuver the actual body of the vacuum and the, the, the hose, and the hose was like kind of too, too long um, to be doing the stairs with really. So it always felt a bit awkward. I wasn't a huge fan of that. Um, I don't really want to be someone who owns two vacuum cleaners, like a little handheld one and a big one. I kind of want, because storage is limited, um, I think we all find that you never have enough storage. I wanted a vacuum cleaner that kind of did everything. So when it came to replace the Dyson, as that wasn't working as efficiently, this stood out to me because of that lift away. And I have to say it is, it, it has been well worth it for that. I've been really, really impressed with the way you can pick it up. You can go up and down the stairs with it. It's super easy. It's light to carry. Um, so yeah, I do really, really rate that feature on this. I'm super pleased with that. I also use the lift away to do the sofas. So every now and then I get all the sofa cushions away uh, and go underneath the sofa cushions because kids, crumbs, you know, toys get under there, all sorts of little things. So um, it's just good to be able to very, very easily run a vacuum cleaner over that sofa area and pick up all the little bits and bobs. So um, yeah, I really, really rate it for that. It does take a little bit of getting used to slotting the vacuum back together again. However, it, it, it's not it's not that it's difficult. I think it's just when you haven't done it, um, you know, it's brand new. It's just a bit of a challenge figuring out exactly what angle to drop it down at um, but I am getting used to it um, and actually the mechanism is, is easy. I, I wouldn't say it's stiff or anything like that. It's, it's just sort of getting used to exactly how it slots back in together. So when it comes to actually getting started with using the vacuum cleaner, as I said, it is pretty intuitive as with um, all other vacuum cleaners. I think the key difference between the recline with this and the recline with the Dyson I found, with the Dyson it was literally just a case of pull it back and it went into the recline and then you could get on with your vacuuming. Whereas with this you actually need to put your foot on the base and there's a little picture um, of a footprint on the base of the vacuum cleaner and you're meant to put your foot on there and pull it back for a recline. So for me, um, you know, that's taken a bit of getting used to and also, you know, it, I, I don't want to put too much pressure on it. So a couple of times I've sort of stumbled over pulling it back, but it does work. And then the on off button is right up here. It's a big power button. You can't really miss it. And as I said earlier, up here is also where you can set the um, type of flooring, three different types of flooring here. So whatever you're doing, you just quickly switch it to the correct one and then you can just get going, easy. A few different buttons on the actual vacuum cleaner. You've got the powered lift away and you've also got the dust release cap. So powered lift away takes the full sort of unit away, um, including the motor for the actual vacuum cleaner. So that's the full unit so that you can do some vacuuming. Whereas the dust cap release, that is literally just when you're ready to empty the vacuum cleaner, obviously. And emptying the vacuum cleaner is super easy. You push that dust cup release, you lift it up um, by the handle on the top, 
and then there is a button on the front of that dust cup and you just push that when you're over a bin because it is going to release and all the dust is going to drop out of that. Um, while we're speaking of the dust that this actually collects, I have to say I have been super impressed at how much it's been picking up out of my carpet. And I think it has really illustrated how my Dyson was failing in the last year or so because there was so much dust in the rug um, and on the carpets on the stairs and upstairs um, in the bedrooms that it was clear that that vacuum cleaner just wasn't working as efficiently as maybe wanted wanted to. Um, I did clean the filters periodically. I did do the things that Dyson said you should. Um, I think the Dyson vacuum cleaners are meant to last for about 10 years or so. As I say, I think I've got about seven or eight years out of mine. When you are not using these tools, they just slot really, really easily onto two holders at the back here. So everything is stored all together in one go. Um, in terms of the size of the actual unit, I would say I think it's a little bit taller than what my Dyson was. If you look at them side by side, I think it's a little bit taller. Um, however, in terms of storage, it is stored in exactly the same place, absolutely fine. I keep it in my airing cupboard. Um, I've had no problems fitting it back in exactly the same place where the Dyson went. Um, I'm pretty impressed with it size-wise. It's not too, not too big, not too bulky. In terms of weight, when you're holding the whole unit, I would say it, it is heavier than what my Dyson was. However, when you're holding it the powered lift away, it's really easy to hold up and down stairs. I know you're holding two things. However, it's much less cumbersome vacuuming the stairs with it with the powered lift away than it was trying to use my whole Dyson unit. So overall, I would say I'm super pleased with our new Shark vacuum cleaner. It does the job that I expect it to. It's much easier doing things like stairs and the sofas. I'm really impressed with the amount of dust, particularly the really fine dust that it's picking up because it's that kind of thing that I worry about with the kids and sneezing and allergies and us as well. So I would give it two thumbs up. As I say, at the moment, the anti-hair wrap bar is working. Um, let's see if that keeps working. So I said, I've, I've had vacuums that have claimed they have that in the past. And it hasn't quite worked, but it's been a month and there's no hair stuck on there at the moment. The powered lift away, for me, it was the selling point for me. And I have to say it delivers um, on what it promised. It delivers on what I expected to. Super easy to use, super efficient at picking up dust. You can use it on all different types of floor. So this gets double thumbs up from me, I definitely recommend it. I really, really hope that this review was useful. Um, if you have any questions at all about it, please just drop them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer questions. And I will see you guys on the next upload. Bye.